hey beauties welcome back to my channel welcome to yet another video if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is Rita. if you're seeing my face for the second the third or the fourth time it means that you are a returning subscriber a returning viewer and i just want to say thank you thank you a million times for supporting my channel so today i'm bringing you guys yet another get ready with me story time edition i'm going to show you how to achieve these monochrome purple eyes how to achieve the skin um as well as my lips so you get to learn and you get to be entertained at the same time so this story time today is about how my roommate and i basically had a cat fight at like 1 or 2 a.m in the morning okay we had a cat fight in the a.m's over something so stupid Let's jump straight right into uh, this story time you guys today i'm bringing you guys another story time i'm just going to begin with my eyeshadow get that out of the way and then i am going to jump into the story time today you obviously saw the thumbnail so yeah i'm just prepping my eyes i am using the la girl pro conceal this one is in the shade medium beige i usually use pure beige or medium beige i like pure beige during winter because it's a little bit lighter than medium beige they're basically the same shade but medium beige is a little bit warmer which i like for the summertime because you know you do get darker in the summertime so yeah this one is perfect i'll still be using it in summer so it's perfect so i filmed this yesterday and i didn't quite like the footage no actually there was nothing wrong with the footage but um, my mind was all over the place. I've just been feeling really anxious So, you know when your mind is filled with a lot of things and you just can't focus on That one thing that you need to focus on That is what was going on with me. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try today again. So Here I am trying today. <laughs> so I'm going to grab this sort of big fluffy brush and i'm just going to go in with this brown shade as our transition shade basically today i really want to do a monochrome look and i'm gonna do purple that's what i'm feeling like today <laughs> that's very important guys I feel like fried chicken I'm gonna make fried chicken me and food lately we have such an unhealthy relationship and it's showing I know this doesn't look like much <laughs> But it's it, it's doing something. Trust me on that. It's going to dip into a deeper brown, cool toned deeper brown, and I'm just going to deepen my crease. say that i want to keep the look uh, monochromatic and this is the purple that i'm gonna go in with can you see it it's very pretty very bright and this is from my revlon palette this purple mm -hmm. yeah 
I have to go in several times because it is a matte shade and they're a bit difficult to work with. But if you just go over it a couple of times, you will get that purple that you want. This is where we're at with our eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to grab that same brush that I just used with the darkest brown shade that we used. We only used three shades. So I'm just going to go into that and just blend out the edges and make sure that everything is blended. And then I just like to take my finger and just make sure that that purple is nice and bright. This is so pretty. It's giving royalty because purple is the color of royalty. Done with my eyeshadow now, I am going to do a nice wing liner. This look definitely needs a wing. Eyelashes are done, eyes are done, eyebrows are done, honey. We're gonna jump into the story time. I am just priming. Time does begin. Okay, so I moved into Rays late on in, later on in the year. I didn't move into Rays when the semester started. I moved into Rays around April. My first roommate at Rays we had a really really good cordial relationship when i first moved in she set a lot of boundaries or rather we set a lot of boundaries that we agreed to and we respected those boundaries so that we can live in harmony so I would have obviously then loved to live with her again. She ended up getting a single room and I had to get a roommate now. And I didn't really know anybody at Rez. It wasn't all girls Rez. So I only knew one other girl and I actually knew her from high school. So each time I would go and visit my friend, Rumi would be there, right? Um, and that's how we got acquainted with Rumi. She would be there or if um, we're coming from the shop, she would greet us. So we had a mutual friend, Rumi and I, basically. So she knew that, Rumi knew that my roommate was going to get a single room the following year. So she knew that I didn't have a roommate. And I when people were choosing roommates i didn't choose a roommate i was like it's fine i'll stay with a first year who's coming in next year or just a stranger it's okay because i had such a pleasant time such a peaceful time staying with my first roommate so i was like you know what a stranger is perfect so she approached me and she was like hey Rita, i know that your roommate is getting a single room do you have a roommate yet and i said no i don't have a roommate and then she's like okay do you mind if we move in together next year and i was like girl that's cool so fast forward to the beginning of the new year i guess we exchanged numbers before um we left for the christmas vac so fast forward to the new year rumi takes me just like a week before we move in rumi takes me on some when are you moving in just being really really friendly um and that's where our friendship started her texting me asking me when i'm moving in you know asking me other questions like other personal questions so that's how we became friendly and that's how we ended up becoming friends i guess we didn't really set boundaries as to what type of person are you are you the type of person who studies at night are you the type of person who studies during the day so that we can respect each other's spaces and i'm a light sleeper so if you are doing too much in the middle of the night it's going to distract me and i'm not going to get a good night's rest 
and a good night's rest is very important for me because i'm a during the day person i function well during the day at night when it hits 8 p.m i don't want to work anymore i don't want to be studying so rumi and i when we first moved in together we actually didn't sit down and set boundaries so that we are both happy in our space we immediately became friends we became really close we would go out together the way rumi and i had become close the way we would hang out together so much that people were asking us as well like why are you guys hanging out together so much it's weird <laughs> you can't live with someone in the same space and hang out with them there's bound to be some issues that arise so um i remember like we were so close that i even invited her to my birthday dinner um and i remember her and my ex-roommate my roommate from the previous year they also became so close that i remember this one time before my birthday the day of my birthday i guess i was sleeping and i'm hearing sounds when i wake up they were basically like decorating my wall and it's right next to me hence i said as well i'm a light sleeper so if we are living together we need to set boundaries so that when i'm sleeping i ain't getting disturbed otherwise we're gonna have an issue you get what i'm saying so we have been living together now for about four months three three no i'm lying not four months because we're not in school in january uh february march so around two months april maybe it was like around the beginning of april it was around semester test time i remember and as i did mention i'm mentioning again i'm the type of person during semester test like if i have a semester test on monday and it's the weekend I will study on Saturday or Sunday or both days and I will study during the day at night I'm sleeping so it's semester test time and it's the weekend it's Saturday night and I have a test on on Monday I have a test I have a semester test on Monday and I had planned to study the whole day on um, Sunday for my semester test so it's Sunday night uh, it's i mean saturday night and i get woken up by this really really loud laugh and i wake up hakisheba it's rumi and she's on the phone and she is just being really really loud so i tell her i'm like hey rumi can you please turn it down uh, tone it down i'm trying to raise I get it it's the weekend okay but i have a i have a test on monday and i want to wake up tomorrow and study and you are laughing a little too loud i can't seem to fall asleep she didn't answer me she just literally blatantly ignored me i, I opened my laptop i put in my earphones and i just decided you know what i'm not even going to i didn't even i was not even fighting her even after she ignored me i was not fighting her i was not in a in a mood or giving her attitude you know what i mean i was just like okay whatever this girl she is just i guess too happy she must be too happy so i just ignored her i opened my laptop i put in my earphones i'm on my laptop i'm minding my business so once she finished her phone call i guess she was like let me give this girl a piece of my mind she's like Ghatavile. and with attitude i i take on my earphones I, so I i guess she had been calling me like a couple of times and because i had my earphones on i didn't hear her i just hear someone Ghatavile, Ghatavile. So I'm like, um, okay, yes, what's up? Then she's like, don't ever, something like, don't ever tell me how I can speak on my phone again. Something like that. Something along those lines. That's what she said. And I just looked at her. I w Cause, and in that moment, I'm so confused. Like, what the hell just happened? Because... I had a situation with my ex-roommate where she, I was on the phone and I was being loud and she basically reprimanded me like, her, hey girl, can you please tone it down? Which I just toned it down to respect somebody else's space. So 
i didn't understand what what's going on so much attitude just for me asking you to please tone it down because i'm trying to sleep i was just like i'm not entertaining this girl's drama like i'm literally not gonna do that i was just asking her to please keep it down and she just decided to give me the biggest attitude so cool i put in my headset and i get some sleep i'm not even thinking about this the next morning we are not talking to each other me and rumi we literally ignore each other flat like <laughs> we ignore each other and we were quite close so it's that thing y'all when you and your roommate are cool you're borrowing each other's things honey nobody said anything we just started giving each other's things back like i, I guess we were just both like done with this friendship <laughs> And we didn't speak to each other for the next coming weeks semester tests also passed and it was around easter holidays imagine living in a situation where you and the person you're living where you're living you're not speaking to each other and attitude man moods you know every day every day that's your reality i genuinely did not enjoy that it was easter holidays and she was going home so she left and i got to our room and she had left me a note by my desk it basically said hey Rita, i just wanted to let you know that i'm going home and i just wanted to let you know that i still care about you i'll see you when i come back home no apology no Rita, i'm sorry for the way i spoke to you i should not have spoken to you that way especially considering the fact that you just wanted me to tone down my volume i just took it and i threw it away either way i had spoken to our res mother and asked her if i could please change rooms next um next semester and get new roommate because it was only the first semester honey i'm not gonna live the rest of the year other six months in a hostile environment like hell no i'm not gonna do that to myself the world is already so tough classes are tough you want to come home and be happy you don't want to come home and you know the vibe is off nobody wants to live like that so i reached out to my res mother and i was like to her second semester i want to move out i want to move out i don't bad mouth her or say anything about her i just tell her that we have our differences and i want a new roommate it, it's exam time writing exams we're still not talking to each other we were approaching the end of exams and she was going home earlier than ours she was packing on that particular day i knew that because she had been packing the whole day we are still not talking to each other it's now um around june maybe early june so since april we haven't been talking to each other so for three months april may june it's now early june and she had been packing to go home i'm just bronzing so i can bring color back into my face let's do a blush She's writing her final exam the following day so later on in that night, like 10, 11, 11 p.m., I go and I go to bed. She was packing and she was studying, hence she was going in and out, in and out the whole night of the room. So each time that she goes out, each time that she comes in, she puts on the light. Every time that she goes out, she doesn't switch off the light. So each time, not I'm sleeping, right? But I'm a light sleeper. So I can hear her when she comes in and I can hear her when she switches on the light. Plus, you know how the light is when you are sleeping and it was dark. It's distracting and it will wake, it will grab your attention really quickly. Each time that she leaves, she doesn't switch off the light. And I have to now keep getting up to switch, to switch off the light. And it, it's deliberate. Like it's deliberate because we're not talking to each other 
there's oh, her style there's animosity so her not switching off the light knowing very well how i feel about getting my sleep was deliberately not switching off the light because every time she comes back it's off so she can see oh, i have a problem with it so she's being deliberate about it and again she opens the door she puts on the light this time around she's speaking to her friend in the corridor and they're speaking loud guys like it's probably after 12 close to 1 a.m and you're speaking to your friend it's freaking 3 p.m in the afternoon you know and y'all are just casually having a conversation people are sleeping your roommate is sleeping you are standing by the door um let me go in and highlight this time around but i'm still i'm still like sleeping i guess she went out and she left the light on i woke up i switched off the light i got back in bed but my mind is still awake i'm still awake i'm just trying to get back into my sleep and i'm really at this point i'm hoping Jorge, whatever this girl is doing the up and down that she's doing it's done i have no idea where this girl got a chalk from you know chalk the one that the, the one that they use at school on the green board a chalk a white one i don't know where she got that chalk from i feel like she planned the whole thing because it just looked staged from the developments of that day everything looked like it was planned and silly me i was just happy that she is going home and i'm gonna get my peace you know but nah she was like i'm gonna I'm go out with a bang she was like this girl she don't, she don't know me this bitch don't know me i'm gonna go out with a bang <laughs> um i'm just gonna finish my eye makeup i'm gonna do a monochromatic look today so i'm gonna use this purple eyeliner as well in our res rooms right it's the door the door's in the middle and then when you get in the door the left side is my side the right side is her side and the first things that you see is the cupboards they brown the brown cupboards and then it's the beds and then it's the windows that side so when you get into the door this is my cupboard and that's her cupboard so she got she gets in she switches on the light again she goes and she stands by by her cupboard and she starts writing with the chalk that she had on her cupboard and she starts writing her work and reciting it like she's teaching a class annoy me provoke me like what are we doing and guys i'm in disbelief like i i had to pinch myself like Am I dreaming? Is this really happening to me right now? Is this girl reciting her work and acting like she's teaching a class at freaking 1 a.m. in the morning? What does Ghatabile do? I stand up and I go switch off the light while she is standing there teaching her imaginary class. I stood up and I switched off the light. She goes and she switches it on. I go and I switch it off. This is when all hell breaks loose. So I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm going to use this shimmer shade. It's basically a purple shimmer shade. And now we are at the light. And we're basically fighting for the light. We're basically fighting each other. But we're, we're fighting for the light. And ain't nobody swinging first. Because the rule at res is that... If you get in a fight, you get expelled at raise. You get kicked out at raise. So I'm also just like, as much as I'm not trying to get in a fight, this girl has been provoking me basically the whole night. And I just couldn't take it anymore. I was like, I don't care if we fight. And I don't like fighting. That just takes too much energy and so much emotion fighting takes way too much emotion i don't like to fight and she's pushing me to become somebody that 
I am not. So basically that's how the fight broke out and then uh, our mutual friend was the first person to come in and break the fight. King, you guys, what's going on? Everybody's shocked. What the fuck is going on? Got to Momusho. It was kind of like a big thing now, you know, that oh my gosh, they are fighting. Or he didn't my father to for nothing. So now Haki Utrella Hante, ne? when we're now heated and we're fighting and she's saying things like oh you think you so better you ran off to our house mother and told her oh, you want to move out so that's what the fight was about the whole time the fact that i want to move out and she's offended that oh my gosh we are living in the same house and we're not talking to each other and i want to move out how could she want to leave this hostile environment <laughs> our mutual friend that we had she was just like um i must okay well everybody calmed us down now there was no way that me and rumi were expected to sleep in the same space we're gonna kill each other because both our adrenaline is high and we're both like really really pissed off our mutual friend was like i must go sleep at another friend of hers hers's room so that rumi can come down and at least she's leaving tomorrow so the drama is over but the next morning i got to our room I was there i just got in and i ignored her and I was gonna shower and i was getting my stuff to go shower and then she was like can she please um speak to me i was like okay that's fine let's hear what you have to say for yourself ma'am <laughs> so like she is really sorry for how she acted she acted out of character she just heard that i was talking smack about her and i wanted to move out okupa please i shouldn't move out because she kind of likes staying with me um so we should just solve this i was like okay that's cool you know i don't mind we can fix things but i knew that our relationship could never go back to the way that it was before but i really wanted to move past this and i didn't want to stay in a hostile environment anymore so i did decide to stay in the room with her um the following semester all it really took for us to mend things was an apology you know we yeah we did not mix business with pleasure <laughs> that's what it was it was mixing business with pleasure we kept our distance but we were still good we spoke and everything but we still we didn't overstep each other's boundaries that experience you taught me that setting boundaries with someone who you're going to live with or who you live with is so important basic rules and i was like if you if i live with a roommate again yo i will be desperate it will be in in a desperate situation i was literally like anti-roommates at that time <laughs> after that incident and i've been anti-roommates until now um yeah that is the end of story time of my roommate horror story we basically had a cat fight in in the middle of the night right dead in the middle of the night that is weird anyways um let me put on my earrings and finish off my look and then come back and close this off that is the end of the story time as well let me know comment down below and let me know if you had a roommate horror story i know there are far far worse roommate horror stories out there so i definitely want to hear from you don't forget to like as well hit that like button and don't forget to most importantly subscribe subscribing to my channel is 
free you don't get charged you don't pay anything to subscribe to my channel so you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that you are notified anytime i post some hot hot content if you are having some roommate issues out there girl i'm sorry <laughs> i know how you feel i hope that blows over very very soon don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and leave me a beautiful comment in the comment section my name is Rita girl and i'm out